Shalom, brothers and sisters. Good evening, this is Brother Steve, back in the work. Brothers and sisters, thank you for another opportunity to come to you today, to speak with you, to edify, to build, to bring a word of encouragement. Brothers and sisters, before I start, let's just have a quick prayer. If you like, bow your head, quick moment of silence, why I pray. Father God, I you all glory and praise to you. Thank you for your son, your shy Christ Jesus. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the opportunity to come to your children. Father, you've placed me in a position to speak boldly as an oracle. Let the word walk, Holy Spirit, guide me, protect me, protect your brothers and sisters and their families, their children. Continue to bless us abundantly in this hour. We have so much more to be thankful for. Amen. <clears throat> brothers and sisters, I want to talk to you today real quickly, briefly, if, if I can. Now, this ain't going to be too long of a message. Brothers and sisters, I don't know if you heard today, um, court rulings on the mandate. Brothers and sisters, it is a victory. It's a temporary victory. But just keep in mind, the battle continues. The battle for, for the faith. Brothers and sisters, this is a spiritual battle. And I know I'm not saying anything that you all don't know. Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> excuse me, the spiritual battles that we are in is necessary. It's a necessity. We know in scripture that David in the book of Psalm talks about the affliction. You know, David stated to the Most High, it was good that he was afflicted for his transgressions, for his iniquity. Brothers and sisters, the Most High in his omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent state knew that David would fall. He would fall due to the lust of Bathsheba. And when his enemies rose against him, and when the camp of the enemy and Satan pursued him, he was afflicted on all sides. Brothers and sisters, if David had not gone through his affliction, his spiritual growth, his evolution, we would not have the book of Psalms. Brother Steve is here to tell you that the foundation and rock in Christ protects you when, when none else, nobody else is there to hold you up. Brothers and sisters, the offenses that come your multitude of trials, your multitude of tribulations, your multitude of adversities. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the process. Brothers and sisters, if the Most High was to pull you out in the midst of the war, I've stated once again, how effective would you be for the kingdom of heaven here on earth? Christ stated that the kingdom of heaven is within you. Ye are God's. Spiritual essence of the most high that runs through us. The elevation of the Rawak Holy Spirit that moves, that protects, that comforts. And in this time, brothers and sisters, you have the enemies 
at the door. Enemies all around. See, brothers and sisters, we have to consider one critical fact. And this one critical fact is this. No matter what you are battling, no matter what is happening in your life, we as the body of Christ, Hebrews, Gentiles, we must hold on to that faith, to the promise of the Most High for deliverance, safety. The war, the battles. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, you can't control the battles. It's not for you to know the outcome or the end result of a battle, of a war. It's for you to walk by faith. Proclaiming and speaking and believing in the Most High. The Most High states, and I've said this over and over, the Most High will never leave you nor forsake you. If you make your bed in heaven, the Most High is there. If you make your bed in hell, the Most High is there. So brothers and sisters, where are you going to run to? I mentioned the mandates in the court ruling. A temporary battle. The exposure of the evil, wickedness, Luciferians, Satanists, fails in governments of the system, of this earth, of this world. They only have a short time. They will also see the face of the Most High. They will also face judgment for what they've done in this earth. We are not as believers to pray on anybody's downfall. We go, we go spiritually, we make our decrees and declarations, we pray for protection, we send back all heirs into the camp of the enemy, we send confusion. That's what we do. Brothers and sisters, in the book of Thessalonians, the Most High promises recompense. Many of you have lost loved ones due to this strong delusion, this stupor, this lie. And brothers and sisters, it pains me. It pains me to see that so many people wouldn't listen, wouldn't hear the plea, the call, the warnings, the woe. The spiritual battles that we've been fighting for the past two years in this wickedness. My prayers for the families, your families, mine, is that our, our families repent and be healed according to, to Psalms 91. To repent to the Most High God in Christ for the decisions they've made, for trusting the science, for not heeding to the word of the Most High, for shunning us, for their pride. In this hour, brothers and sisters, 
Solidarity. Solidarity is one body. Solidarity in prayers. Crying out and shouting to the Most High for deliverance, protection. Getting your walk together with the Most High. Build your relationship up with the Most High. Calling on your Shire Christ Jesus to cover you. That's the only thing that matters. I've sat here for the past two years. Brothers and sisters, five years ago, I came to the revelation knowledge that we would be here in this time. That the Satanists would launch the wickedness they've launched in this earth. November 2020, I seen it with my own two eyes. The Most High had guided me. He showed me. He verified everything that he had been telling me, showing me. And I pleaded with people that I love not to make a medical decision. They put it right in front of our faces. The majority of people that I've encountered did no research, didn't investigate, didn't look into things. I understand, brothers and sisters. I understand that every man must seek out his own salvation with fear and trembling. But it pains you. It pains you because, you're, because of the people you love. The loss of jobs, the loss of income, the destruction and destabilization of society as we know it. Yes, it's part of prophecy. So these things must come to pass, according to Matthew 24, Mark 13, the fall of Babylon, the rise of the Israelites, Jacob. The rise of the Gentile nations in Christ. So brothers and sisters, I'm coming to you boldly today. And I pray that this message resonates to the world. To people who are still on the fence. You have a decision. You don't have to die. You don't have to die in the confusion. We serve a God of the living, not the God of the dead. And if Christ paid it all and shed his blood for us, choose life. These monsters out here, they got their day coming. These monsters got their day coming. The people who made these medical decisions out of fear. Programming, rhetoric. I pray that the Most High have mercy on them. I pray that they repent. See, I do this because I love. I love. 
and the love of Christ brings pain. I see the children, the children, brothers and sisters. I see the parents that have handed their they, they, they children over to the God of Moloch that have cast their children to the fire. All in the hope of saving their life for being part of a beast system. Brothers and sisters, none of us are perfect. We were born into a fallen state, a fallen world. And everything that we've done, all the mistakes, all the failures, all of it, it's under the blood. There is no spirit of condemnation for those in Christ. So it's not about our own individual righteousness. It's the righteousness of Christ. So who the hell can go against that and be an accuser of the brethren? It ain't no way that I could sit there and condemn my brother or sister. We all have the ability to repent. It's that simple. There ain't no complexity about it, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you today to encourage you. See, this is love. This is what real love looks like. And for some people, it may come across harsh, tough. But I'm commanded, we are commanded to stand boldly to persist, to strive, to endure, even in the midst of affliction. Your walk with the, with the Most High, your relationship with the Most High is the only thing that matters. So Brother Steve is here to tell you, to continue and persist in the faith. Excuse me, brothers and sisters. Well, brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a word of encouragement. And I am praying for every single one of you I am emphasizing the importance also of forgiving your neighbors, forgiving your family members, forgiving your spouses. If the Most High destroyed it, separated you, broke it up, it was in His will. You, as individuals, Sons and daughters, it's continue in the work. Whatever the most high God for you to do, whatever your mission is on this side, while you are breathing, you are to continue doing that in your capacity. the thorn in the flesh. 
the metamorphosis that Saul went through. The murdering of his own people. The destruction that was caused. Because he knew not Christ. If the Most High and Christ can change someone like he did Paul, well, for those out there like you, he could do the same. We all have to be willing to receive the grace. We all have to be willing to strive for perfection. It's possible. It's possible. Brothers and sisters, the private war of a saint. The private war of a saint and the battles that saints deal with on the day in and day out basis. It ain't easy. But what would you do if you give up? Giving up ain't no option. And for many of you out there, you were pushed to that extent many times, including Brother Steve. And the only thing that was holding us up was the promises of the Most High God in Christ to live. So in doing that, the Most High has poured out the Holy Spirit, the plethora of information and knowledge to warn his people to be one step ahead of the enemy. So I thank the Most High. Hallelujah to him. Hallelujah to you, Ahia. Hallelujah to you, Yeshua Christ Jesus. Where will we be without the revelation knowledge? Where will we be, brothers and sisters? Where will we be? Brothers and sisters, I didn't mean to make this too long. I wanted to come on here and speak with you. The mark of the beast, the chip, the metaverse. I've made videos on them already. The children of Israel, the 12 tribes. I've made videos on them. I've spoken on a multitude of topics. Murder. I, 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 idolatry. The corruptible seed. The incorruptible seed. This gospel will be preached and then the end shall come. Like Christ stated. What else are we to do. In this hour. I understand. The offenses that, that will come. I understand. That people are going to come against us. It's all part of the process. Count it all joy. Rejoice, rejoice, and take it cheerfully. Pain and all, brothers and sisters. There is joy at the end. There's deliverance at the end. There's a crown and a reward for your faith. Continue to repent. Continue to go to the Most High boldly. Continue to make your petitions known. Last but not least, 
Be thankful for another opportunity at life. All right, brothers and sisters. I want to thank every single one of you for the opportunity to come to you and speak with you. I want to thank every single one of you for your support of this channel and allow me an opportunity to come to you. I want to thank the Most High God, Ahayah Bashim and Shai Wawa Kadesh, my Lord and Savior, for saving my life, for bringing me to this point so that I could come to you All right, brothers and sisters, y'all know what time it is. May the Most High God, Ahia Bashim, and Shiva, Wawa Kadesh, and Christ cover you. May there be a wall of fire around you, your families, your children, your households. May you be covered and protected as you travel to and fro in this earth. May the spirit and peace of rest go ahead of you. Let all violence, all misfortune flee. May the Most High God cover you in his strong arm and shadow. All right. All right. Well, y'all know what time it is. I love y'all. This is Brother Steve within the work. And I'm out. Brothers and sisters, y'all have a good night. I love you. Y'all stay up. Have a good one.